happy diwali to all of you and uh, today we will discuss two cases first this one case came to me of a young child around 10 11 years old and uh, what his mother told is that sir he used to uh, suck his thumb even though he is now you know towards teenager becoming a teenager he is still sucking his thumb so i asked okay tell me about the chat and his mother you know she started complaining oh sir he is very very naughty he is he is very rebellious you know he doesn't listen to me and uh, his his sole interest is on you know doing something something with the toys or playing uh, he he plays with elder kids and elder boys and uh, he has no interest in his studies no interest in learning anything else other than you know playing with toys and you know doing something like experiment like things and like that and i asked him okay but but what is what is the problem you know he is he, he is artistic you're telling me that he has something artistic capabilities so what is what is that that you are, uh, that is wrong with the child and the parents usually tells you about their interpretation of the child what i was observing that the child was you know very restless he was going here then there and coming back sitting on the patient's stool and the, and and even you know going around and round rotating on the patient's stool and uh, his mother was constantly are uh, stop it sit straight and all that his mother was also my patient and uh, so i knew that she was a typical lactose uh, female and uh, uh, she used to uh, you know she has because she doesn't want the society to see that uh, her you know boy is so old and now it still uh, he is sucking the thumb so she didn't want that so she was constantly you know scolding and she wanted him to score good because what will uh, other people say because her elder child uh, a girl means the elder sister of this boy she was good in studies she was uh, very uh, you know studious uh, student so she wanted that her boy should also be like her her, her sister but uh, the boy was uh, completely opposite and he was uh, living in his own world and trying to explore but he was not getting that uh, you know that uh, that that freedom of expression you can say is because of that strict parenting and all that and he was constantly what he was doing he was really restless and he was you know going round 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 and when his mother was complaining all about him what he was doing was he was smiling and smiling really really strange like you know almost like a foolish foolish kind of smile something of a foolish and and something like a a bit uh, you know like he was trying to torment her mother so for a moment i thought about tarantula and and uh, even hive simons or something like that but see what what the state is how uh, this state came in the patient the development of this stage at which the patient has come to you now that is very important another case that i i saw of a even younger boy of around uh, about 6 years 6 or 7 years old and uh, his complaint was that he used to get recurrent ear infections you know otitis externa and boils in the ear which were very very painful 
so in the beginning i thought that uh, give uh, hepar salts and silesia and <laughs> even sulfur because the recurrent tendency of pus formation none of those remedies help at all i mean of course the boils got better but uh, after some times again the problem returned and this child was also very hyperactive there was not an etiology like the first case of a parental rumination or something like that but his child was like that right from the birth uh, from a very young age he was uh, very you know like uh, uh, hyperactive and his, his attention span was really really limited in the clinic he also used to rotate on that uh, patient stool you know going round and round and round and round and he he this child used to touch everything when whenever i used to take a bp of uh, his mother he used to you know put the bp instrument the sphygmomanometer to to his side wants to see what is going on how the mercury is rising and going down and uh, he used to touch my watch he used to touch my phone to see if the phone lights up so uh, if you see that all these rubrics that we have discussed they represents mercury but understand how this state in the first case it was very evident that uh, the domination you know we have various remedies in domination but understand this that how a particular constitution reacts to uh, uh, a situation that differentiates the remedies there are various remedies in domination but every remedy is not uh, developing into this mug for the state mug sol mercury has really really bad reactive power really bad it means what it means is that if some stimulus is coming in or if uh, he is receiving some stimulus he's he is not able to react accordingly or the reaction power are so weak that it does not produces a reaction it it uh, just absorbs inside goes and produces pathologies mercury uh, you you might have seen if a thermometer breaks down it's a very interesting uh, metal mercury it's a metal it's a liquid metal whenever it, uh, the thermometer breaks down the mercury scatters you know and form little fragments it's a metal that shrinks in cold and expands in 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 heat very sensitive to heat and cold both so you can think like that that uh, uh, whenever it gets into a situation of domination of a stressful situation whenever anything that he wants to do and he is not able to do it somebody contradicts him or somebody is putting pressure on him there comes a time when it starts disintegrating the personality the whole personality starts disintegrating and scattering it is not depression no it is not depression it is that the state completely you know changes or the real personality of that person is lost he might become rebellious he might become violent that's why you might find rubrics like disposition to kill anyone who contradicts him thinks everyone is an enemy 
हर कोई दुश्मन है एवरी वन वॉन्ट्स टू किल बिकॉज नाउ हिज माइंड इज लाइक दैट ही वॉज एब्सॉर्बिंग 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 एंड वॉज नॉट रिएक्टिंग फॉस्फोरस ऑल्सो एब्सॉर्ब हिज डिफेंस इज ऑल्सो वीक ही एब्सॉर्ब वेरियस स्टिमुलस बट ही रिएक्ट्स अकॉर्डिंगली फॉस्फोरस इज वेरी फियरफुल एंड 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 ही ही रेस्पॉन्ड्स यू नो मर्करी ऑन द अदर हैंड ही कलेक्ट्स 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 एंड देन finally what happens is the fragmentation the breakdown the scattering of the personality starts and which can see in in various forms you know this is scattering and this lack of reaction you might uh, uh, have heard in various other remedies also what happens what makes mercury different is that the thought process the thinking of the person becomes really you know ineffective and 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 really um, not in a particular focused direction you know it's a very good remedy for adhd what is adhd the thoughts coming in 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 continuously it is in a, a rubric of many also that ideas rushing one after the other because his thought process is like that completely distorted one case of ocd that i remember in which what the patient said to me he was he had also a smile various patients smile even nitromur smiles uh, pulsatile smiles cpm smile but everyone's smile belladonna also smiles everyone's smile is different from other remedies like nitromur or thuja just they put on a facade and they smile to hide the inner security insecurity sorry and belladonna has that sardonic laugh you know like that so everyone's laugh is different and in case of remedies like mercury hyoscyamus Uh, mercury is in uh, laughing um, oh sorry smiling foolish his expression is like that you might feel why why he is he is smiling he looks so foolish and that makes that differentiates it from other remedies so he had a um, uh, ocd of hand washing and all and he used to do like this that he is to smile and he said to me a very interesting thing that dr saab main matlab man mera bimar ho gaya hai main main matlab jo dimag se na man se mere mind se meri jo mansik sthiti hai wo bilkul bhi theek nahi hai bilkul bhi theek nahi hai i used to counsel him also along with homeopathic remedies but his this delusion was not going so i looked uh, a rubric i found a rubric actually uh, that delusion that he is sick in mind and body and he used to say exactly similar thing exactly exactly same thing to me that uh, uh, not similar exactly the same thing to me that dr sam ye jo bimari hai this disease that i have this mental problem that i have the thought process it is causing uh, all my troubles all my physical problem my weakness and all that is due to this so i gave him maxol directly in tenem potency because he was at that, that level that delusion level so he got better with time slowly 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 his ocd improved it's a very interesting remedy the things that i've told you you will find it in essence of materia medica by dr joy withol because he had explained beautifully the case that i've told you of the first child who used to suck thumb 
it is very uh, similar to what Dr. Sankaran has told in his uh, written in his uh, Soul of Remedies about Maxwell. You definitely should read uh, Maxwell from Soul of Remedies by Dr. Sankaran, where he had uh, described a case in of a child who was a left-hander, but due to his counselor, school counselor forced him to write with the right hand. And then his grades start degrading. You know, he, he used to be very good in studies, and suddenly he he became really uh, bad, really poor in studies, and and uh, then he became rebellious. He used to uh, be very uh, quiet child, but then he became really violent. His mother say say to him that don't eat meat on this day, but he used to you know spend his own pocket money to go and buy meat because he doesn't like contradiction so uh, it's a it's a constitution that is not explained well uh, in older materia medicals or you can say that they have tried to explain it but what we have grasped is really less of of Maxwell we know it's anticipatory every one of you have at some point in your life might have given it for oral ulcers. What are oral ulcers? This is destruction. It has that affinity for uh, mainly the mucosa, the skin, uh, the nervous system. And that's why majority of time you prescribe Maxwell for oral ulcers and it cures. Sometimes it might happen that it will not cure and then you have to look for some other remedy. But majority of time it does. And we never uh, think about it. That what is the reason? The base of, of syphilitic myism that we all know is destruction. But that destruction, why mercury has that destruction is because of that continuous absorption of all the stimulus, stimulus and then he cannot react back. It it gets absorbed and the pathology develops, the destruction starts. Because he has so less, you know, reactivity, that's why he's affected by both hot and cold. Many people say this, uh, um, especially in today's time, you will find mercury constitution uh, it's it's not a very common constitution, but you will find it in today's time. Many people will say that you know when I uh, I'm, I'm hot, then I sit in AC, and suddenly I get cold, and then I have to get warm again, or I get affected both by hot and cold. There are other remedies as well, but mercury is like that. His his you know tolerance you know or the comfort zone is very narrow. थोड़ा सा इधर हो तो थोड़ा सा इधर हो गर्म की तरफ जाओ या ठंडी की तरफ थोड़ा सा ज़्यादा जाओ तो अनकंफर्टेबल तो वो द रेंज इज़ वेरी नैरो कि जहाँ पे वो कंफर्टेबल हो वो टेम्परेचर का रेंज बहुत नैरो रहेगा सो आई होप कि ये जो डिस्क्रिप्शन है मक्सोल का ये आपको थोड़ा कुछ बताने में कुछ एसेंस एक्सप्लेन करने में सफल हुआ होगा मार्क्स और बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग रेमेडी है और पढ़िए रेपर्ट्री में और रूब्रिक्स अगर आपको मिलते हैं कुछ इंटरेस्टिंग तो मुझे भी बताइए और कमेंट्स करिए चैनल को सब्सक्राइब ज़रूर करिए अगर आप नए हैं तो और वीडियो पसंद आया तो लाइक करें और शेयर भी कर सकते हैं सो टिल नेक्स्ट टाइम थैंक्स लॉट एंड गुड बाय